hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to talk about uh, the various types of conferencing available in microsoft teams and what all the policies that we can assign live events all these stuff so let's begin with this before that if you have not watched the entire series you can take a link from the description box same as you can take the previous and the next video link as well from my uh, the description box so okay let's begin with the microsoft conferencing in the teams so in microsoft teams there are three primary type of conferencing available one is the private meetings where you have to uh, share a meeting url you can send an invite to users whom you want and they can uh, join that particular meeting and the second uh, type of meetings are there the channel based meeting where all the members who are in the same team automatically get invited and they can access the recordings as well as your discussions if it a meeting is uh, recorded in the case of meeting recorded it's uh, it can be uh, they can listen the same meeting as well and the third type of ad hoc meetings in ad hoc meetings you can start it as per your convenience like just click on the meet now button in the calendar and you can start it let me just quickly show you the same uh, let me just quickly jump into the client okay you can see there's a meet button is there so in that meet now if you click on then that will start a quick meeting or you can say immediate or conferencing so okay so this is the ad hoc type of meetings when you in immediately start it and you can start talking and uh, doing the conference we can also configure the meeting policies and the licenses uh, licensing configuration licensing which comes mostly when we are talking about audio conferencing uh, that must be required e5 plan or any add-ons in your existing subscriptions so that you can do the audio conferencing services as well and apart from this that is not available for all the regions you must have to identify it is available in your region or not if it is not there then you may have to take some alternative ways like uh, integration of your sbcs etc to achieve audio conferencing functionality we can uh, in the during meetings users can optionally record the meetings and the groups calls as well that is transcript services as well they will capture the audio video screen sharing whatever all those stuff this can be configured as a part of uh, meeting policies we can configure uh, conferencing bridges conferencing bridges are the audio conferencing integration bridges where if users wanted to join through an PSTN or join, wanted to join through their cell phones, they can connect it from an audio conferencing bridge. That we have to add it here. It could be a toll number or it could be a toll free number. It would be totally depend how your organization have that particular number and how it is integrated with your Microsoft uh, Teams. So to add any conference bridges, you have to go to the Teams Admin Center. Let me just jump into the same once you go to microsoft admin center where it is okay in this uh, from there you can go to the meetings and you can add the conferencing bridges here you can see the conferencing bridges option is there from here you can add a new conference bridge i have already added a couple of them as per the location could be a toll number could be a toll free number the information you have to just enter it here okay it's applied for the toll number right now let me just quickly add it a toll number okay right now it's not uh, added because i have already added all of them so i will let tell you how we can uh, add other numbers as well but it should be assigned and associated in the meantime we can check it out the number which i already added this is the bridge configuration settings like tones how entry and exit announcement the name of number it should require a pin or not so this is the basic configuration about uh, audio conferencing once you are trying to jump into the call we can also set up uh, any specific number as a default one 
so that will take or it will be all added as per um, as a default number in your uh, details could be defined for the different policies as well I will come to that point in details a little bit later on because the numbers which I already added I utilize all of them I will uh, tell you in the next step how we can associate and add the other numbers as well okay let's just move it quickly and see the couple of policy settings okay before that uh, okay then uh, this is the first thing that I just missed the conferencing numbers bridges setting in the admin center you can also configure it from here we can manage the meeting policies the meeting policies that is also in the same location that can be defined for a specific per organizer per user organization and user as well so let me just quickly go back on my dashboard and show you so this is the Microsoft team and here you can see these are the default policies that are exist here let's send custom policies no so you can see like this couple of settings are already in place if you want to uh, add a new policy you can click on add and just type a name test policy I'm just typing it and you can define the specific settings like allow me if you want to restrict it you can restrict it allow the outlook add-ins you want to restrict you can also restrict it same as for the audio video transcription if you want for the meeting turn on and turn off you can also restrict it then uh, you can see mode of uh, IP audio not enabled suppose the changes you want whatever you can define it and same as for the sharing and the participant guest mostly these settings were earlier available in Skype for business and link as well in the previous Microsoft version uh, same way Microsoft is designed to use in Microsoft team as well click on save the configuration uh, you can define it and accordingly once you apply the policy it can be uh, saved and whenever you want to apply this setting you can just need to go to uh, users and in the users you can define the specific type of policies from the policy section you can edit and you can apply the meeting policy currently organization rights are already applied here you can modify and change it the same policy that you want to okay these are the settings in the same policy that uh, meeting settings you can manage it like logo URLs and the legal and help information so that is also available in the same location same way sorry this one here you can define the logos company logo etc all those information and then preview the invite you can see it's it should be like this in that way we can also define the live event policies when in the live event settings and the policies you can create a live events Microsoft is giving an option so the live event policies can be seen from here you can add as per your custom policies as well and the live event settings are available here so you can uh, enable or disable it as per your requirement and the second thing uh, how we can create a live event for that you have to just go to your end user if the policy is allowing it and at end user you can just go to calendars in the calendar you can see the live event new meeting is there the same way you can see the live event and the webinar options are available so when you click on live event you have to fill up the information test live event and suppose and the timings things you can enter it click next if you want to keep it for the specific group of people or you want it for the organization wide and you can click on schedule to schedule the same live event 
okay because just now i have selected so you can see the get attendees link you can uh, copy it from here as well as you can join and start i have just created this uh, for the right away for this event so through way this way you can create a live event from end user prospect settings can be managed that is from here only the policies and the settings this is the live event setting which you can see it from here if you want to add the third party video for the distributor you can associate here these are the default fund you have to enter the licensing if you have already purchased that you can refer their sites to check licensing cost okay uh, once we talk about the PSTN integration the PSTN is basically two ways we can achieve a calling plans that are available uh, from a Microsoft various vendors those can they can provide also the same kind of service apart from that the other way we can use our direct routing direct routing is an option that through that you can integrate your SBCs SBAs or um, earlier we also have a cloud connector but now the cloud connector is not available uh, it's almost we can say in 31st of July it will get uh, Microsoft is going to decommission those structure so and Microsoft is recommending to use the direct uh, routing as right now so direct routing you have to first identify uh, there are certain uh, type of SBCs those are only compatible so you can take it out the ribbon like uh, the older Sonos now it's ribbon so that or audio code or Oracle SBCs so you have to just first identify uh, is it uh, compatible with Microsoft team or not it must be uh, it, it is compatible with Microsoft teams then only you can integrate the same with uh, Microsoft 365 or um, teams 365 so basically direct routing will help you to connect your on-premises PBX or SBC's infrastructure to Microsoft 365 and in the calling plan you can directly take a phone system telephony service provider provided by microsoft so you have an option for the direct calling uh, where the numbers but direct calling is not available for all the all the regions you have to first identify in which region uh, you are and it is supported over there or not but the direct routing you can enable it as in PSTN. It's still a uh, couple of countries having their own uh, rules and uh, laws so you have to uh, just follow the same instruction like in india they are working on the tri laws uh, where it should not like any call should not be go uh, beyond their location so it must be initiated if it is a pstn call it must be initiated from your local um, uh, local location or uh, wherever you are sitting so in the same way you have to just identify the location basis and you have to configure the uh, routing in the SBCs. So first you have to identify your SBCs then SBC must be published and it must be associated. I will cover more details uh, on this. To get a phone number you can also uh, check from the Teams Admin Center where the telephone system is available. On You can three ways use a Microsoft Team Admin Center or port your existing number or request a form for new number as well number can be categorized as a user level or as a service level number and that you can set up in Microsoft Teams how we can uh, get those number how we can take this number for that you have to just go to the voice section let me just quickly go back to voice from here you can see there is a couple of things informations are written the first one is all the available operators those are providing services to different countries so first you can identify the country where you want to put a telephone system for example i want to take it for the australia they are the these are the four vendors those are providing a services same as if i go in brazil uk 
so i can't see the india over here because india it's not directly integrated at is now the ship calling that's why the service providers are also not available here you can see entity uh, tata communications very zone so these are the more popular ones where they can uh, you can use that and you can also choose the calling of functionality or fmc functionality as well so uh, once you choose the type operator you can also see it from here right now i don't have uh, associated with any operator's number so uh, to request a number or you can see a phone numbers management you can just click on the uh, number section over here and the phone numbers uh, you can just need to click on that select the country or the region okay then you have to select the number type it's a user number rest i will discuss in the next video call queue call attendant what it takes exactly or a dedicated toll bridge number so you can you have to fill up the information accordingly and uh, right now just if i take a user number over here okay microsoft does not have a pstn partner so let me just quickly take it to united states right now uh, request is not available for the licensing so i need to just check it out and request it to get a new number over here because if it is available from the account from the stock then only i can associate it that is only limited to uh, when you want to add a user number and it's already purchased or associated in your organization if you want to integrate the pbx system if you want to integrate your sbcs then the number system is completely managed by or the psta number section would be managed by your pbx or sbc then this is not a requirement it is only for the calling number if you want it to add and associate here only like uh, direct calling organization i don't have a license right now if i have a license then i can associate the numbers over here as well like from the service providers various mostly organizations are not using this uh, this structure they are using integration of direct routing through microsoft teams i will come to that part as well like this section direct routing where you have to add your sbcs and that will your on premises sbc and their publishing fqdn which is published over internet that require an uh, public ca certificate as well for the publishing name i will come to and discuss the same as well uh, later on you can also manage the voice uh, setting for the users let me just quickly have a uh, quickly show you the same as well you have to just go to users select the user account where you want to manage the voice settings you can see the some voice settings are there call uh, group call pickup outbound calling i will uh, explain this in the next video in more detail what exactly the call delegation call pair and call um, grouping etc meeting and call settings are there and then policies are configuration so the in the policies we can also set up the call park policy calling caller id as well as dial plans configuration in the voice routing so currently all set as default because i have not created any other if i create then i can also associate the same policies to that particular user i will discuss this more detail in the next video so uh, what is the call park and call pickup and all those things uh, till that time you can please keep watching this channel if you have not subscribed the channel you may subscribe it as well as uh, i would say if uh, you want to view the previous videos that take the links from the description box the entire series link is also there so till that time thank you so much and keep watching my channel